Here, too, the enemy was forced to leave its street defenses. In the months before the invasion, Allied air bombing had rendered the naval base useless as such. But the Nazis continued to utilize naval rifles and other undamaged weapons which had not been destroyed. With other wrecked warships were those the French had scuttled. This is what remained of the famous French fighting vessel, Dunkirk. This submarine and torpedo plant, although damaged severely, had remained in use until the capture of the port. Fort de Jana, built by the French in 1936 and taken over by the Germans in 1940, had been rendered useless by Allied bombing. Among the weapons the French had installed were 320 millimeter guns, which with their turrets had been taken from battleships. At Fort de Cis IV, the Germans surrendered only after their water supply had been exhausted. Before their surrender, they destroyed many heavy guns. In Toulon, joyous people cheered the French troops. In this amphitheater of hills behind Toulon, the French had constructed a series of strong forts which guarded them against invasion from the sea. It was into these strongholds that the Nazis now retreated for their last defense of southern France. The French forces, commanded by General de Tassigny, pushed westward to check the Germans moving up the Rhone Valley. Meanwhile, segments of the American 6th Corps, composed of the 3rd, 45th, and 36th Divisions, advanced westward and northward. Roads were littered with destroyed enemy vehicles, guns, and Nazis. <laughs> 